Hello and welcome to another episode of You Say I Play and today, as you can probably tell, I'm pretty excited to be bringing you this <coughs> rather incredible gameplay. Today I am giving you a game of Domination on Village with the class setup recommended, not recommended, suggested by V Clumsy. link in description as he just joins my party there, um, to his channel and the setup in which he outlines. I am using, as you can see there, the thermal ACR, just one attachment with, I think, focus proficiency, scavenger, quick draw, and I'm pretty sure it's marksman. I also have a lethal throwing knife and a jammer, and now is a great way to start a game. So pay attention here with this throwing knife, cross to A, boom. Now, I was generally absolutely buzzing at this point in the gameplay, I thought, man, I just hit that across the map. If I can turn this into a gameplay, this is going to be pretty fantastic. A throw a knife across the map into a thermal ACR gameplay. I thought I was getting a little bit worried here that I couldn't kill him. And I was like, oh, this is going to be harder than I uh, first anticipated. But as you'll see later on in the game, that I actually end up getting the MOAB. Yes, I know you might be a bit surprised about a uh, thermal ACR MOAB is pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Um, I was very excited to uh, get it. I was buzzing at the time. As you'll see I'll later on I'll uh, point out to you I'll put, pull in my um, MOAB and start shaking the screen and just like ah. It's just good times, good times. But I tell you what, one thing with this class which I thought was a bit ridiculous, the jammer in fact does absolutely nothing. It it does something obviously but it is dire like compared to the portable radar at least that um, has quite a moderate radius and um, you know it's going to be picking people up on it you know showing you where they are but with the jam it has such a small radius that it's not really worth using you see there um, I'll pull it out in a minute I'll just run through my specialists um, he allowed me to use specialists to uh, give me a little bit of a chance and this gun is not that bad actually when you get to um, get all your perks because you get the sway proficiency as well as kick and, and that pretty much means as you see there pulling out all the perks um, for the win um, it, it just means that it's actually quite a good gun you're not gonna suffer from the recoil in the scope and you know it is a bit of a bummer being a thermal with everyone using assassin and all that but I tell you what it isn't bad when you're getting the uh, getting all the perks as you see here I swapped to uh, I thought I picked up a pretty decent secondary and it was in fact a thermal PP90 so I'm sort of like overkilled at this point with uh, thermal guns which could be a little bit of a problem but I seem to uh, go to work a lot of people will probably think this is a little little bit um, too defensive for their liking but what I'm going to say to them is I know the spawns on this map and I've got two other friends I was playing in this game with Chidders and Herity um, and I knew that, I was picking up a juicy double kill there, um, that they were spawn trapped at sea. So there's only three ways out, I, this route over the bridge, um, this little wooden bridge over the big bridge where B-Dom is, or the other way. And I knew um, Herity and Chidders had the other way, so it was over the bridge or here. And I didn't really have many incentives to move that much, as, as you can see here, they're, they're actually coming to me as I'm going to pick up a scrolling five-man feed with the... Um, Thermal ACR, and there we go, the MOAB Thermal ACR. That's, uh, when I got that, I thought, you know, I'd try to go a bit more rushy and rush heavy, but oh, man, I was, you see, there, was, this is recorded live, not from theatre mode, and I was absolutely buzzing with it. I was so happy with it. I tried to go for a cheeky throw and knife, but unfortunately, that didn't go off. But I do get the eight man multi kill, which is kind of rare because normally there's quite a few people in, I think someone just stinging themselves or something ridiculous um, <laughs> they're people are normally in kill cam so they get away with not being MOA beads but that time I got pretty lucky so 8 of my kills from this 51 to 6 thermal gameplay was with the MOB but tell you what getting 50, 43 kills with the, uh, with this setup is pretty pretty good if I do say so myself um, I do end up going on a, another tear a little bit later on I have a bit of a dry streak in the middle you know as you normally do after getting an MOB because never get too lucky to uh, go too huge but um, I do end up pulling out another 18 kill streak I was really unlucky not to get the 
double Moab. If I got that with this class, then it would be oh blimey, that would have been would have been incredible. But I'll just give you a few tips and tricks on the um, on using this class. So as you can see, because it's got a scope, this kind of applies to the ACOG as well. What you want to do is you'll see here. I'll plant down my thing. I saw a guy coming through the bridge. So you want to scope up before you try and engage them, because otherwise you'll see them go to scope up. They'll get shots on you, and your um your aim will go well off target and then you're not really going to win many gunfights but here once again is another good spawn trap um, I think we might have air at this point I'll just have a look when I uh, scope out yeah we've actually got A so I don't really know why they're spawning there yeah no I realise that now and then go back no maybe oh, I'm not quite sure but um, are we going to spawn in the cave there or over at C Dom here and they're capping B now as you can see with the flashing thing so um, it's worth just trying to get a spawn trap on because there's no point in going rushing in and they're just going to keep spawning there because they'll just shoot down straight away so you've got to let them get come to you a little bit um, but yeah the gameplay is a 51 and 6 thermal um, ACR gameplay which I was very impressed with so if you could please leave a comment on which class you want to see next I'll leave the layout in the description to make it a lot easier for you guys um, in order to do that um, so if you can leave that maybe a like maybe a favorite for this thermal uh, thermal ACR Moab because I, I think this is probably one of my better Moabs I've ever got It's definitely one of my most uh, unorthodox ones so if you could leave a favorite that would be um, pretty awesome I'd be really really grateful for that um, and if you have enjoyed, if you're not subscribed already, please come on, come on over to my channel for some more big gameplays like this and user interacted series. And um, I'll see you guys later this week.
Enemy UAV spotted. Take it down. We are losing this fight. Friendly hind inbound. Thank you.